swinging the golf club and hitting the ball towards your target is only one relatively small element of this game of golf. One of the big things you've got to do when you take that swing and hit that ball towards the green is ensure that you're hitting the ball the relevant distance, the required distance for the best result. And that often comes down to the club selection, picking the right club out of your bag to make the shot. Because it would be a pretty soul destroying game if when you pulled the club out of your bag and set up to the ball, you already knew that this ball cannot end up on the green. It doesn't matter how well you swing it, it can't end up on the green because you picked the wrong club. So getting the club selection right in your decision making process is fundamentally important. And one of the key things here is using the right club for the required distance. And consider the fact that a huge majority of golfers will under club when they're looking at a distance. So if we've got a 150 yard shot towards the green and you pull out a pitching wedge, that shot simply isn't going to work unless you're Bryson DeChambeau. You're not going to hit that ball onto the green. So you've made the fatal mistake right from the start. You can make the best swing in the world. You're not going to have success with that shot because generally speaking, pitching wedges will not reach 150 yards. Now, most golfers will under club more than over club. A huge number of shots will land in that front portion of the green. And golfers are often sort of fairly happy with that. You know, I'm on the green, I'll take it. Very few golfers ever go to the back of the green. But also consider that if a course designer or a greenkeeper is going to spend a lot of money on developing a nice hazard, be it a bunker or a, or a water hazard, they're probably going to put that towards the front of the green because they want you to see it. They want you to interact with it. They want you to have to play over it. So if you look at your golf course and dissect each green front to back, I would suggest 85% of the hazards are at the front of the green and only 15% of the hazards are more towards the back of the green. But why are we then playing all of our shots to the front part of the green? Because we're using the wrong club sometimes. We're landing in that front section. So make a deal with me. Next time you go and play golf, Every time you pick a club and you look at the distance you're playing, just add one more club on. If you convince yourself that this is normally an eight iron shot, just go ahead and take a seven iron. If you think it's a five iron shot, take a four. If you think it's a pitching wedge, take a nine iron. Just hit to the back of the green. Stay committed to those shots. Don't decelerate and dunk it in the front again. Stay committed and just try and fly every ball halfway up the green to the back of the green each time. Just do that in a practice round, and I promise you, the scores will be better. You'll be in less hazards, less danger. It's a less nerve-wracking game of golf, you know, hitting the ball going, please carry, please carry. Is it going to reach that ditch? Fly the ball to the back half of the green more regularly. Your scores will come down by having better club and, uh, and distance control in that uh, course management element of your game.